God is the most high, uh, the highest. Uh, he is the biggest. He is the greatest. Uh, he is the best, the wisest, the strongest, mm, the rock that never shakes, the unmovable one, the unshakable one, the infallible one, the unbeatable king. Uh, that's why we're here and we just want to welcome you. Welcome to the broadcast uh, uh, today. Uh, I believe God that you'll be marvelously blessed in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, you will be blessed in the name of, of the Lord. Amen. Uh, uh, let me just uh, welcome every one of you uh, here already. Please help us to share. Uh, once you share, uh, you are part of the ministration. Uh, the blessing that God is going to share with us, you'll be part of it as you share. Amen. You are reaching out to the whole world. Uh, God bless you, Shelton. Uh, God bless you, all is smart. All is smart. God bless you, Ebuka. God bless you, uh, Don Scott. Thank you for coming. Prince Chike, God bless you. Magnus. Yes, uh, Flower Michael. Yes, Olga David. God bless all of you. So glad you're here. Windy, Vivian, Adele. Yeah. God bless you. So glad to see every one of you. I ask you. God bless you. Mac John. Amen. Prince Collins. Nicholas. God bless you. Josephine. Every one of you. Cynthia. You shared already. God bless you. God bless every one of you that is sharing, inviting other people, informing them, being part of, of the ministration today. Glory to the name of, of the Lord. Time will fail us to begin to call all your names, but you are marvelously blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I just want to welcome you, baby. Welcome. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Uh, uh, for uh, the past one week, uh, we've, been, we've been talking about Yada and Toda and how we worship God. Look, we are worshippers of God. And the Bible says in John chapter 4 from verse number 24 that God is seeking those who worship him. Because God can't worship himself. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, that's to tell that God is a God of humor. You know, uh, when you worship a person, you know, the person is motivated. I, I always see God in action whenever people worship him. Whenever David wants God to go to display the God he is, the quality of the God he is, he will switch into worship. Switch into worship. He will tell God how he picked him from the bush. How he took him and polished him and made him uh, the king uh, uh, he was. And God will step in. But worship is powerful. Worship stirs God up. If you're a worshiper, you are unique. Worshippers are unique. Amen. Worshippers are unique. And of course, I will take time uh, uh, to, to tell you, you know, what, what, what it means to actually worship. Glory to God. Because worship is not just singing. Worship is a lot. Worship is when you pray. Worship is when you're fasting. Worship is when you're giving. Worship is when you're helping. I will explain all those by the grace of God next week, Wednesday. But as I was getting ready last night, the Spirit of God spoke to me. And the, what I wanted to say, I wanted to continue with worship, the expression of worship. But there was an interruption. And listen to me. You know, we don't own ourselves. He owns us. Uh, the commander can interrupt you to tell you what he wants you to do. Uh, and it is incumbent on, on you to listen to your commander and do what he wants you to do if you want to receive the blessing uh, he wants to bless you with. Glory to God. A amen and amen. Praise the Lord. A and uh, as, as the Spirit of God was talking to me, I believe that God is about to do something unique in the life of everyone that believes. Everyone that believes. It's a unique time. 2020, 2019 and 2020 cannot be forgotten in the history of, of the world in a GV, especially 2020. 
it cannot be forgotten. In fact, the, 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 uh, the events in 2020 has entered into the history of, of the world and we are privileged to see 2020 and see what we saw. <laughs> We've never seen anything like this before. So many people couldn't see it that the whole world was shut down. The economies can be shut down. The movement can be, can be restricted. You don't move from your house to your neighbor's house. You don't shake your neighbor. You don't greet your neighbor. I, I mean, cultures and traditions suspended. Courtesy court suspended. I saw some people, when they see their friend, instead of them shaking, they are giving their elbow. In fact, in my own culture, if you give a person elbow, you are ready to fight. <laughs> but look at what happened on earth has introduced greeting with your elbow. My goodness, it's a unique time. And the Bible says the sons of Isaac knew the time. They knew what Israel ought to do. Glory to the name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed are you if you can know the time, especially your time. Because everybody has his or, or her own time. You have your time. That's why I advise you, don't jealous anybody. You will manifest. Hmm. Time will reveal you. God will reveal you and reward you through time. God will reveal you to the world and reward you through time. If you are faithful, if you are a worshiper of God, glory to the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so uh, this afternoon, I, I, I'll be speaking on sports and the pathway. Sports hmm, and pathway. Sports and pathway. Pathway, glory to God. Uh, uh, John chapter 1 and verse number 3 says that through him we are all things made, and nothing was made, uh, nothing that was made was made without him. Nothing was made without him. All things were made by him and for him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If all things were made by him, all things means time space and the energy time space energy and matter all things were made by him and through him and for him uh, and so uh, god cannot gaze on anything god will not call anybody can you help me to explain this or that person he knows you he will be very blunt to tell you, I, even I, I am he. Beside me, there's no other God. Uh, he will be very blunt to tell you from your mama's womb before you were formed, I, I knew you. Uh, he will be very blunt to tell uh, one of his prophets, fill your horn with, with oil. I am sending you uh, to uh, Bethlehem, to the house of Jesse. I found me a king, and eventually the king he found was a shipkeeper was a bush boy, was a village boy, was a rejected person. Because God knows the end from the beginning and he can declare it. I have this word that blesses me each time and encourages me a lot. That God can never start anything with you without completing the end. God can never start any project in your life. In fact, you are a project. Listen and listen very carefully. I don't think we, we will go very uh, lengthy today. You are a project in the hand of God. And if you are a project, it means God has completed your end. Hmm. What you need to know is to get the details from him. Lord, how will I go? Oh, yes. Hmm. Oh, the Bible says, know that the Lord your God is your redeemer, the one that teaches you how to make profit and lead you on the way you should go. He will lead you on the way you should go because he has planned your way for you, despite what you are seeing now, despite the challenges, despite uh, the, the, the tension or pressure on you. Hey, the Bible says, all things work together for good uh, because God has planned your life before your arrival. You are not a mistake anyway, and you will never be a mistake. You will never be a mistake. It's not money that defines you. It's not the de de uh, decree, I mean degree that defines you. What defines you 
is uh, 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 the word of God, the predestination of God. I was reading the other day, I found in Acts chapter 3 uh, and verse number uh, 23 or thereabout, Acts chapter 2 verse 23, uh, the Bible says, by the predeterminant counsel of God, I think Acts chapter 2 verse number 23, by the predeterminant uh, uh, wisdom of God, he crucified Christ before Christ was born. Before Jesus was born. By the predeterminant wisdom of God, he has already killed the lamb before Jesus was born. Are you getting me today that you can never be an accident? He said, follow me, I will direct you on the way you should be. Jesus is Lord here. Abraham was about to worry. He called him and said, Abi, Abi, relax. The person you are walking with is not a man. The person you are walking with is not a man. Abraham said, but my wife is buried. And God was asking, who told you? Who told you? Oh, you are following the fact. You are following medical fact. You are following biological fact. But I, talking to you, I am the creator. I am the maker of biology. I, I, I am the custodian of statistics. I am the owner of all. Yeah. Follow me, A.B., you will end up well. Because I completed your end before I began your beginning. Before I walked into your, the, your father's house, that your father told us to call you Abraham, I've already completed you. And so walk with me. And be ye perfect. Walk with me and make sure uh, you enter where you belong. Amen. I pray for you today. You will enter where you belong. Amen. Oh, you will definitely enter where you belong. Amen. Oh, that's a thing called the grace of God. The grace of God is powerful, brother. Oh, yeah. uh, the grace of God is a decorator. Yeah. Uh, the grace of God can pick a non entity. Oh, I uh, make the person. Uh, uh, a celebrity. <laughs> hey, the grace of God can pick someone from anywhere and make him a president of a nation. From the desert, from the bush, from the dungeon of life. Because the Bible says, from him and through him we are all things made. We are all things made. And nothing that was made was made without him. For all things we are made by him, by him, by him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And that's why you shouldn't worry about spots and pathways. There are spots in life. Uh, spots are the stopovers that sometimes, you know, uh, look like uh, the destination, but they're not the destination. They're just spots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They are just spot. They are not the destination, sir. They are just spot. Hey, because God knows how to send his people to Egypt. Yeah. Uh, and knows how to sustain them in Egypt. And he knows how to bring them out. And listen to me, God knows that why they are leaving Egypt to the promised land. The promised land is the destination. But the Red Sea is the spot. Hey! Hallelujah. <laughs> the promised land is the destination. And the land was the land that was flowing with milk and honey. That's the destination. But excuse me, Lord, there are red seas. Yeah. <laughs> How will we cross? Excuse me, you're going to cross the red sea because it's just a sport. Sport is a stopover, not the destination. <laughs> and so what is pathway? Pathway is the route. My good God. Pathway is the route. Mm. Before aircraft flies, uh, they will first of all get navigation right from uh, the countries they will pass through. And then they will program the, their route, how they will fly. That's why the pilot can leave the aircraft, put it on auto, auto pilot, and then come and be greeting the passengers. I remember the first time I saw the captain coming to greet us. I was like, sir, what are you doing here? Go and control this thing. Please. We are about 40,000 feet, you know, above the sea level. And here comes the captain with the other person greeting people. Shaking people's head. And I was like, hey, God can do things like that, sir. <laughs> 
God can do things like that. Pero shakadas. Hey, and so when you see sport, uh, don't be too worried. It's just a sport. It is a stopover, not the destination. You don't come down from the bus stop, you know, from the bus. If you've not reached your destination, the bus can stop, you know, at several spots. But that does not mean that you stop everywhere. Because there are sports. There are sports. Mero Shadaga. Let's pick up the scripture quickly. And then we see the book of Job chapter number 23 and verse number 10 to 12. Job 23 and verse number 10 to 12. Glory to the name of the Lord. You will reach where you're going. Job number 3. Job chapter 23. Yes. From verse 10 to 12. Sure. But he knoweth the way that I take. Hey. Follow he this. Me, mm. hey, Amen. He knoweth the way. He knoweth. That knoweth is old English, King James English. It means he he knows. Amen. Amen. Or rather, he knew Pegadesa. He knew the way I take. Yes. Amen. And uh, when he allows me to see sports, uh, he will he will prove me uh, 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 and give me victory over them. Amen. He knows how to route my journey for me. He has already routed, programmed my journey. It is called routing. Oh, God has routed your journey. So where you are right now is part of your journey. It might be the spot, not the destination. Mm. <laughs> the spot, not the destination. That's why the Bible says, weeping shall endure for a night because it's a spot. But joy comes in the morning. Joy is the destination. Right? <laughs> But it's possible. Suddenly you might see weeping, popping, you know. But that weeping is just a sport. It's just a sport. It's just a sport. Go ahead, my dear. Eleven. My foot has held his step. His ways have I kept. My, my goodness. Please watch this very carefully. He said, my foot has held his steps. In other words, I'm looking at his step as he's leading me. I'm, look, I'm not looking at the spot. Don't look at the spot. Okay, look at the step of the leader. If you look at the spot, you'll be distracted. If you look at the spot, I mean the spot, the pressure will overwhelm a dagada. When you look at the spot, uh, you'll be hearing voices of failure. Uh, if you look at the spot, the leader might leave you and go. And then you begin to hustle to catch up. Oh, Job said, uh, despite what I saw, I was looking at his step. I held on to his step. I held on to his step. I was not looking at the spot. I held on to his step. And no wonder the Bible says, and the later end of Job was more glorious than the beginning. And God rewarded Job double for his trouble. Why? We now saw the secret. He was not looking at the spot. Excuse me. Lack of money could be a spot. Marriage issue could be a sport. Job issue could be a sport. Visa issue could be a sport. It's a sport. Listen, it's just a sport. Sport is spelled in English S P O T. Sport. Sport. Just a stopover. Not the destination. No. Ah, Job said, I followed it. I glued myself to his steps. I, I, no, the most important thing in the journey is the step. If I miss his step, I will miss him. I, I wouldn't concentrate on the sport. Because the sport is temporary. The sport is temporary. Yeah, but the route, the route, the route, the pathway, baradada. Uh, and so for you to get to the end, make sure uh, you look at the sport. Uh, and no wonder Jesus said, follow me. He said what? Follow me. And he came and he declared, I am the way. A wise person, when he tells, I am the way, you are no more looking for the way. You are no more looking for the way, sir. You don't have to look for the way now. He has told you, I am the way. Hey, do you know the Bible says in the book of Revelation that heaven doesn't need light because God himself is light. <laughs> Yes. And Jesus said, I am the way. So my responsibility is to follow you. Your responsibility is to 
follow him. In fact, he will take you through the route. Amen. He will take you through the pathway. Glory to God. Uh, the original destination from Egypt was the promised land. The land that was promised to Abraham, Isaac, and, and Jacob. And listen to me. God is taking you to a place of covenant. Your destination is a covenanted agreement between Christ and God. My God. I say it again. Your destination in your life is a covenanted agreement between God and Christ. And so he told Abraham, even though uh, your children will go to a strange land, they will pass through afflictions, but I will deliver them and I will give them a land of their own. And that land will be flowing with milk and honey. And Abraham said, Amen. God said, no, no, it doesn't just end like that. I swear by my name. That was the covenant. <laughs> that was the covenant. Because I swear by my name. I swear by my name, what I told you now will come to pass. Listen to me, it took 430 years, and it was as if it would not happen. But do you know the first 10 years was just a spot? The second year, or the, the second 10 years, or the first 100 years, the first 200 years, the first five, the 300 years were just spots. And some people thought it would no longer happen. But listen, the destination is is a com is backed up. It's bounded by a covenant. Amen. He told Abraham, I swear by my name as I live, I will send your people to where they will have it as their own. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, look at what Job said here. Job said, I was very careful with his steps. You know, when people tell you, take care, they greet you and you're about to go, you say, take care. Stop taking care. So take care. No, 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 no. That take care can be dangerous. That take care can put people under serious pressure. You'll be, you know, taking care of sports. No, no. It should, it should be watch the leader, follow the leader. Follow the step of the master. He will lead you to where you will go. Amen. Read verse 24 again, beloved. Verse 24. Mm. Verse 23. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, but yeah, 12, my dear. 12. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. Mm. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary. I got that down. Hey, Jesus is Lord here. Amen. Neither have I. Uh, after he said, uh, I, I held on his steps. I held on his steps. My foot had held his steps. Uh, his ways have I kept and not declined. I was very careful to watch him. Elijah told Elisha, if you can carefully watch me and, and not being concerned about Jordan, how you will cross, uh, you will get what you are looking for. Praise God. A amen. Yeah. <laughs> and Jesus, the Christ, that told us, I am the way, the truth, and life. John 14 and verse number 6. So you don't have to worry again. He said, I am the way. Just make sure you follow me. Leave uh, the spot. I will handle the spot. And of course, I'll be telling you, you know, some things that are spots in your life. I will, I'll be sharing with you some things you see. You know that this one is a spot. I will not concentrate on this. That that landlord is a spot. Yeah. That that house matter is a spot. That that project that stopped, stopped growing is a spot. I will not concentrate on the spot. I will concentrate on the supplier. I will not concentrate on the source. I will con con concentrate or, 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 on, I will not concentrate on the resources. I will con concentrate on, on, on the source. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory. Amen. Uh, let's, let's just quickly, uh, Proverbs chapter num number 20, uh, yeah, uh, uh, 12, uh, sorry, 12 verse 28. Proverbs 12 verse 28. Quickly. Proverbs 12 verse 28. 
Yes. Yes. In the way of righteousness mm. is life, mm. and in the pathway thereof there is no death. Hallelujah. Amen. In the way of righteousness there's life. In the pathway thereof, in other words, those rough, those spots, you will not die. Yes. <laughs> you will not die. You will live. Woo. Hallelujah. In the pathway thereof. Oh, in righteousness, oh, there's life. In the pathway, there's no death. In other words, you will walk through your journey, your route, and you arrive well. Yeah. Glory to Thank God. I, I want us to see some things that used to pose before us as if they are destinations. One of them is the Red Sea. Mm. Red Seas are not destinations, they are spots. Amen. Red Sea, yeah, Exodus chapter 14 and verse number 6. Red seas are spots, not destination. But they will always pose as if they, they are destination. But they are not destination. Amen. Exodus chapter number uh, 14 and verse number 6. Please, you can read quickly. Baby. Exodus 14 <coughs> yeah. and verse number 6. Yeah. And he made ready his chariots mm. and took his people with him. Mm -hmm. Right. And he took 600 chosen chariots mm. and all the chariots of Egypt. And the captains over every one of them. Mm. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, mm. king of Egypt. And he pursued after the children of Israel. Mm. And the children of Israel went out with a high hand. But the Egyptians pursued after them all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, and his horsemen, and his army, and overtook them at encamping by the sea, mm. beside Pihahiros, before Bel. Hallelujah. Uh, okay, okay, we pick it from there. Please, you can read it on your own uh, because of our time. Uh, you will see before this time, the children of Israel, when they saw the Red Sea, they cried. They, 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 they wept. They began to harass Moses. Moses, you boy, you are the one that said, God said, he's taking us out of Egypt and he's taking us to the promised land. Is it not better for we to have stayed in Egypt to have food? We can eat enough. And you said, God said, that was when they saw the Red Sea. I, I don't know the Red Sea you are seeing now. That Red Sea is just a spot, not your destination. Uh, you might look at it and you say, ah, no way. And that look at your back, you see Egyptians coming. In front of you is the Red Sea. The other side is mountain. The other side is mountain. And the Bible says they wept. They called Moses and said, Moses, you, we will deal with you here. You are the one that brought this trouble to us. They didn't know that that was just a spot, not the destination. Glory to God. At the end of the day, the Lord stepped in. The Red Sea divided. The Bible says there was dry land in the sea. Glory to God. Listen, uh, don't doubt any miracle you saw in the scriptures. Uh, you remember the testimony of, of the lady we are listening to uh, day before yesterday in the night. A Chinese lady, woman, that doesn't know Christ. He has never heard about Jesus, doesn't know anything religion. She just an atheist. In fact, for her, she came from monkey. That's what she said. So she doesn't know what is a religion, church, mosque. Hindu. He doesn't know nothing. He doesn't believe on those things. And so uh, one day she went to the ocean to swim. As she was swimming with all other people, listen to this testimony. Uh, as she was sw swimming with all other people, she was about coming out. Something held her leg in the ocean. She was about swimming to the shore. The same thing, the, the stuff, the power held her leg and was drawing her deeper and deeper into the ocean. She was looking at some people to help. No one could help her. No one could help her. But she said she was born in the place where she can swim, so she can swim very well. It doesn't really matter where what was holding her take her to. She can swim out. But the problem is that the stuff is not leaving her head and her leg. And eventually, uh, when she got to a place where the water was almost going into her mouth, uh, at that post, force came on her neck to press her down. And so she said, that's the last. She can't talk again. She would die. She remembered her mother, remembered her father, remembered her only daughter. And then said, and she said, she said sorry to them that that's the last time. 
she can't live again. But suddenly, Jesus took Lord. She said, a light came down from heaven. Heaven opened. She, that she, she said, I don't believe in God. I don't know what you mean by God. And she said, and she said, I said, my God, where, can, where is your God? And as soon as she said, my God, she said, heaven opened and somebody appeared and that was Jesus. Listen to me. Hey, da, da, da. And when Jesus came, the ocean, what was held, holding her, left her right at that spot. She couldn't see the water again. She was just seeing herself. And uh, the power, that bright light that was standing before her. And at the end of the day, when the light left, somebody ran towards her with speed, jumped into the ocean. And they said, hold my back. She said she held the back of the person. And, and then the man took her outside. When she got outside, she slept so deeply and she couldn't understand what was happening. Listen to me. That should be like Red Sea in the life of a person. Red Seas are spots. They are not destinations. Uh, they told you your job has been relieved from you and you're crying. Excuse me, it's a spot. That's not the destination. It's not the destination. Oh, the told you no when you thought ah it is done i've gotten that testimony and eventually they said no oh, that does a spot it's not the destination listen to me so red sea is a spot not a destination number two wilderness is a spot exodus chapter 16 and verse number number three wilderness is a spot and verse number, exodus 14 and verse number 16 16 and, and verse number three exodus 16 and verse number three and the children of Israel said unto them, mm. Would to God we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, mm. when we sat by the flesh of pots, mm. and when we did eat bread to the full. For ye have brought us forth into this wilderness to hey. kill this whole assembly with hunger. Uh -huh. Now they are talking to Moses. You brought us out of this wilderness for us to die. They didn't know that wilderness is always a spot, not the, the destination. It's a spot. <laughs> yeah. And God knows the wilderness you're facing. Job wilderness. Financial wilderness. Family wilderness. Maybe legal wilderness. Whatever it is, the Lord knows he knows that this is a wilderness. It shall come to pass. It will go. It will obviously go. It will not kill you. Amen. The children of Israel thought that's their end. That's their last. And they began to complain. Is it not better for us to have stayed in Egypt than for you to have brought us here, O oh Moses, for us to die in this wilderness? So wilderness is a spot. What is that wilderness? You don't have food in your house. It's a wilderness. It's a wilderness. Our food will come. Amen. Amen. I remember there was a time in our in our, in our life uh, you used uh, uh, onion yeah. as chicken. Yes. Onion. onion. Oh, yes. Two onions. <laughs> two pieces of onions. Fine one. That, that was our goat. Goat meat. <laughs> that was our chicken meat. <laughs> that was our fish. <laughs> I remember we sat down and we thought and thought and thought. As a woman, she woke up and went to the kitchen. And about ten, 10 minutes later, I began to perceive something coming from the kitchen. I was like, what magic is this woman making? Where did she see what she was doing? It was onions. <laughs> onions, beloved. So she cooked the onions palatably, beautifully well. We ate that onions and ate that rice. And with the onions, I seem to say we are, we are eating uh, cow meat. We are eating beautiful uh, fish. <laughs> yeah, because we know a day we come. Magataya does. Uh, we will eat what we want, not what is available. Oh, that, that onions that seem to be meat is just a spot. That's not the end. And, and so one other day, uh, we went, opened a uh, you know, uh, deep freezer. There's no space. Uh, there's no, forgotten so many food uh, about one, maybe two months. There's no space. But we ate onions and chicken. One day is a spot. 
wilderness is a spot, not a destination. Are you hearing me here? That the guy promised you marriage and at the end of the day he began to you know, uh, dangle. It's a spot. There are many men out there looking for a good wife. Prepare yourself. Tell the Lord I follow you. Job said, I, I, I hold on to your stick. A ganada. That a young lady looked at you and said, look, you are not my match. You don't have a, enough uh, broad chest. You don't have enough money. Excuse me, beloved. And now you go in crying. Especially when a, a woman disappoints a man. The man will almost run away from the church. <laughs> then you go, I can't marry you because you're poor. And then you go home and, and you call your head. You're cr Stop crying. It's a sport. It's a sport. You don't know the head that we wear the crown. Great people will come somehow haggard. Amen. Oh, uh, sport we make them look funny. Hey, Jesus is Lord here. Sport we make them look very funny. I said to you, they're not going anywhere. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Just keep on looking at the master. Just keep on looking at the stick. Keep on following him. Listen to me. You will come out of the sport. You will celebrate. Uh, you will wake up and you discover that the sports are all disappeared. Glory to God. Wilderness is a sport. Number three, Jericho is a sport. Jericho is a sport. Joshua chapter 6 and verse number 1 to 3. Jericho is a sport. Joshua 1. Joshua, Joshua 6. 6 and verse, verse 1 to 3. All right. Now Jericho was straightly shut up. Hey, Jericho was completely, totally shut down. Shut up, not shut down. Shut up, closed. And God told them, go and possess Jericho. Do you know God can give you an assignment that will puzzle you when you step in? Oh, God can tell you, go and do what is difficult for human to do. And he knew that, humanly speaking, you don't have the capacity. And he's telling you, you are the next prophet. And you say, prophet what? What prophet? You are the next pastor. Oh, you are the next, look, you are going to marry. You are going to have children. And then you are looking at the whole document. You know, medical people, you know, had given to you that the womb is closed. That fibroid is covering, you know, whatever. The child cannot grow. It is not possible. And then you look at it. And then God is telling you, you are a mother of many children. Look, to put them together can be difficult. But that fibroid is a spot, not a destination. It will shrink. It will go. It, it will go. So Jericho was shut, shut up. Amen. Because of the children of Israel, none went out and Now look at that. It's because of the children of Israel. Listen, what you fear, fears you more. As soon as they know that you are about to come, I mean to come up, they will get ready for you. They will fortify themselves. Don't allow him to come in or pass through. If he passes through, he will liberate so many. He will set so many free. Listen, I declare before you in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, you are a liberator of men. Amen. Uh, you have the anointing of a deliverer. Amen. Uh, you will deliver men. Amen. You will deliver your family line. Amen. Uh, you will deliver your generation. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, receive that anointing now. Oh, the anointing of a deliverer. Yes. Oh, the Bible says, and when the children of Israel sold, uh, the Midianite came and harvested uh, what they labored for until God rose a man. God brought forth a, a man uh, by the name of Gideon. When he raised him up, the scripture says, and Gideon, Gideon became the deliverer. Receive that oil of a deliverer. Amen. You will deliver your family from that poverty Amen. that has brought shame. That shame will not continue in your life. It's Amen. a spot. It's a spot. Yes, not, spot. Not the destination. It's a spot. It's a spot. You will kill it. The anointing on you coming on you. Listen, coronavirus couldn't kill you. Poverty will never kill you. The wheat, listen, wheat and wizard cannot, cannot touch you. Hey, but you know, the devil thought we will all be wiped away. Hey, I was thinking of what God told me when this year was beginning on our crossover. And then it just came that this year is our year of massive mercy. Mm. And then as I was meditating, I remember I was hearing myself saying, and God is saying, 
I will do what you cannot do for yourself. The record is there. And that's exactly. Corona came, we couldn't do anything. No mortal man could provide a solution. But God said, I will do what you cannot do for yourself. I will do it for you. Amen. And, and you are standing. And, and so don't look at Jericho. You've tried and you saw that the wall was fortified. The wall will open. It's open. It is a spot. It is, it is a spot. Praise God. It's just a spot. If it will open, glory to God. It will open. Jericho is a spot, not a destination. And you will enter your Jericho and possess your position Amen. because of Jesus Christ. Amen. And number four, Shehon is a spot. Shehon is a spot. Shehon was a king of, of uh, the city called Amorites. Yes. He, she, he was the king, and that man was a vicious king. You don't cross his border. He will kill you and annihilate. Uh, let's just look at the scripture. Amen. Yeah. Uh, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 2. Verse 24 and 25. Uh, verse 24 and 25. Yes. Rise ye up, mm. take your journey, mm. and pass over the river Anon. Mm. Behold, I have given into thy hand Simon the 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 of and his man I begin to possess hey. him and contend with him in battle. Amen. This day will I begin to put the dread of thee oh. and the fear of thee upon the nations that are under the, the whole heaven, who shall hear report of thee mm. and shall tremble and be in anguish because of thee. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, he told him, you don't have to fear hey. Shihon. Yes, He so. will threaten you. But look at, uh, listen to me. He is just a sport. I've dealt with him. Don't fear him. Hallelujah. It's a sport. Yeah. Don't fear sport. Sport will fizzle out. Sport will go. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, this king here uh, represents difficulty. Mm. Barrier. You want to move. They're telling you you are not qualified. They're uh -huh. telling you people like you are from your country. They can't work in that country. Mm. Uh, and they say, oh, what will I do? That is like Shihon. It's just a spot. Uh, look at the state of the master who is leading you. He will lead you in the way you should go. Yes, Amen. Amen. So Shihon, uh, verse 24, rise ye up. Take your journey. Stop sitting down. Stop sitting down. Uh, that nothing annoys God like sitting down at a spot without making a move. Oh, stop sitting down. That they say lockdown does not mean your brain should be locked down. The biggest office you have is your brain. Once your brain is working, uh, you are not locked down. Many people are, are profiling. Many people are discovering so many things. You know, during this time of lockdown, I, I, I'm always telling you know our congregation. In fact, by the time you meet me, you will not meet me like that pastor you used to know. I've shifted. Amen. I've shifted. Amen. Oh, I've shifted. Because I can't be locked down. No, I can't be locked down. Shihon cannot keep me stagnated. No, Shihon is a spot. Shihon is just a spot. Glory to God. And I say, rise up, take your journey, and pass over the river unknown. Behold, I have given into your hand, uh, into your hand, Shihon the Amorite. Everybody feared Shehon, but God is saying to him, I've given you Shehon because Shehon is the spot. Shehon is not the destination. The destination is the promised land, the land flowing with, flowing with milk and honey. That's the destination. Praise God. Amen. And, and verse 25, uh, uh, and he says, Yes, this day I will begin to put the dread of thee. Have you seen? I will put the dread uh, 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 of thee uh, on Sihon and other people. When they hear of you. I, I, are you a child of God? Can you speak in tongue? I pray for you if you don't have to speak in tongue. Or you don't believe in tongue, fine. But if you can speak in tongue, you are a mystery in this world. The Bible said that he that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks mystery. There are some Shihons you will see. There are some Jericho you will see. Red Sea you will see. You will not know how to put English together. Mm. Uh, you will switch. Mm. And sometimes because you don't know how to speak it, you will think what is happening to me. Speak it. 
It might sound ta 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 means something. When I speak my dialect and a Chinese man comes and speaks his dialect, oh, I'll be sounding uh, you know gibberish. He'll be sounding like a drum or broken plate somewhere. But he's communicating with somebody. And so when you meet Shihon, if you don't know what to do, beloved, just know that this Shihon will be uprooted. Uh, will be disorganized, Amen. will be demolished, Amen. will be taken out yes. of my way. Yes. You know what you do? Ragabaromo, Shkimbrahanda, Marela, Labo. And somebody is asking you, what are you talking about? I say, you wouldn't understand. Excuse me. You are coming from somewhere. I'm coming from yes. somewhere. Speak your own language. Rakaparadinge, Bobo, Shantarada. And they say, what is he talking? Speak English. <laughs> I had an encounter and I thought, I know it was like looking funny. You know what I did? I switched into tongue. And he was asked, is that your language? I said, yes. <laughs> what language is that? I said, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> if you know it, you can join me. If you don't know it, uh, you can speak your own language. When you come there, leave the spot. Don't put your eyes on the spot. Look at the feet of the master. Job said, I held on to his, tape, his steps. I held on. I held on. I kept following him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I kept following him. Amen. Glory to God. Finally, wind and storm are spots. Winds and storms are spots. Amen. Mark chapter 4, verse 37 to 40. We will read it and then we'll round up. Winds can come, but they are spots. They are not the destination. Mark chapter number 4. Mark chapter 4, verse 37. verse 37. That's right. And there arose a great storm mm. of wind, <laughs> and the waves beat Hold into it. the ship. Hold it. I don't know the kind of storm that has risen. Maybe job storm or financial storm because money is not coming again to your hand. Listen to me. It's a spot. Uh, it will die down. You will amen. see. If you believe it, say amen. Oh, it's a, it's a spot. There arose a vicious storm. Kadadas. What storm is it? The family is dangling, shaking as if it will crack. Look at the feet of the master leading you. Mm. Da -da -da -da. That storm, that storm will calm down. We give you away. You are bigger than every storm that comes your way. You are big. Listen, do you know why the storm came? To bring you down because you were dread. You saw what we read in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 2. God said, I will put your fear on Shihon. When they hear about you, they will fear. So each time you see storm, just know that something is afraid of you. Amen. Something is afraid of you. They know that your rising is the rising of a king. Hiya, da, 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 da. They know that your rising is a depopulation of, ah. of uh, the, the, the population of hell. The population of hell straightway. They know. Read by them. Listen, please. And there arose a great storm mm. of wind, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he. It was beating into the ship, the boat where they were in. And do you know the amazing thing? Jesus was there. In other words, God knows every storm. Yes. And yes. every wind. <laughs> he does. He yeah. knew. Yeah. 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 And that the, the wave was coming in to the ship, the boat. Where he decided, he chose him one. It's not like uh, they said, we follow you, sir. No, no, he was one that chose those guys. Uh, to, yes, to show them. You know, the storm was trying to tell them that. God is not mindful yeah. of you. God doesn't care about you. And Jesus was there with them. And the Bible said Jesus was deep asleep. In the midst of storm. Can you see level? <laughs> Others were crying. Somebody was deep asleep. He didn't even wake up. He didn't know. He didn't notice it. In Simon, uh, 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 Wiggles Ward. Uh, Wiggles Ward was a great man of God. Yes. Uh, and so he said one day he was hearing a crack you know on his city room yes 
he came to the sitting room and, and found one monster, you know, sitting on his couch. Yeah, uh, rocking the chair. And then Wigglesworth, Wigglesworth, yes, looked at the devil. He said, oh, is this it? If I know it's you, I wouldn't have come out of the room. It not a devil and left. And I'm sure the devil will say, hey, this man. That's how to deal with, yes. that's how to deal with storm. Yes. No, the Bible said Jesus was there deep asleep. Others were crying. He was, he was relaxed. Please read my dear. In the books. And he was in the hinder part of the ship. Amen. Asleep on a pillow, mm. and there awake, and they awake him, mm. and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? You don't care that we perish here, Master. How can you say you are our master? We should follow you. And you saw us perishing. You saw us lacking money. You saw us uh, examination is coming, and they say we fell. You saw us no, a whole lot of things, mm. Master. You don't care. Mm. He rose up. He didn't talk to them. He rose up. He went straight away ah, to the problem. And that was the wind. Look, without wind, there will be no storm. And the Bible says he addressed the wind, rebuked the wind. You know what? Wake up and rebuke the wind. Address the wind. And tell the wind, you came after me. I am coming after you in the name of the Lord. You want to remove my eyes from following my master. You can't succeed. You won't succeed. I pray for you today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I, 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 every wind, every storm coming against you in form of whatsoever it is, uh, you have overcome. From today. The grace to triumph uh, is on you. I pray in the mighty name of the Lord that the Lord will strengthen you with his mind. I give you an understanding. Help you through the route. Help you through the pathway. And give you grace to overcome every spot. The Red Sea, the wilderness, the Jericho, the Shehon, ah, the storms and the waves. Whatever it is, triumph in the name of Jesus. Triumph in the mighty name of Jesus. Triumph over them. Triumph. Uh, give glory to God. Triumph. Uh, the glory shall come to the Lord and not to the enemy. Uh, they say that you are not waking up. You are waking up. Uh, they say you are not rising up because they've not heard your voice for many years. Uh, when your voice, when they will hear your voice, all of them they will bow down before you. As the Lord lives, came a host. Jesus. You ask them for help. Jesus. They looked at you and they saw nothing. Uh, they will come for you to help them. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, where you went and they stopped you, you, you will go back to the place. Hallelujah. And what's so bad that they there will bow down before you. Amen. Because it was just a spot. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, they saw you the Thank grace. You. They, they, they will see the grace of God decorating Amen. you. Hey! Baka para da da da. It's just a spot. Thank you. It's just a spot. Are you hearing me here? It's just a spot. Amen. Amen. Stopping before the promised land is calling for a second slavery. Don't stop before the promised land. Don't stop for the spot. Go for the promised land. Because when you stop for the spot before the promised land, you are calling for another slavery. And the Bible says in Nahum chapter 1 and verse number 9, Afflictions have not repeated the second time. Amen. Amen. The Lord will strengthen you Amen. and bless you Amen. and keep you. Amen. Uh, between now and December 31st, we will see you. Thank you. We'll hear your voice. Amen. We'll hear testimonies. Amen. Christ will strengthen you Amen. as you keep walking for him. Yes, as you keep uh, praising him, yes. honoring him, yes. adoring him, worshiping him, yes. he will strengthen you. Everyone that pertains to your growth and advancement, I, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, they will be stirred up to connect you. In Jesus' mighty name, the Lord bless you and keep you and prosper you. In the name of Jesus, are you sick on your body? Please lay your hand where, where, the, where the pain is. 
lay your hand where the pain is. I want to pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we are speaking in tongue right now, wherever you are, uh, in the United States of America, many people came from, from, uh, from outside uh, Asia. We are praying for you. Uh, you, are, you are in Asia. You are in Africa. We are praying for you. Oh, that sickness will depart from your body. You will be healed from that ailment. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, that eye problem, that back pain, uh, that inflammation, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to go. Oh, that cough, uh, that seizure, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command it, get out of your mortal body. Right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody here, you've been, you've been dreaming very dangerous dreams in the night. I rebuke that spirit of the night in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That spirit of the night that we, we attack you when you are sleeping. I rebuke that spirit in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. And you are free, you are delivered in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 The Bible says, by the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. The Lord bless you and strengthen you marvelously in Jesus' mighty name. On Sunday, I, 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 we will do your way again, uh, and I believe God is going to be another beautiful time. Thank you for coming in. God bless you, Harriet. God bless you, Emmanuel Obin. God bless every one of you. Ebuka, God bless you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless every one of you who showed up here. I'm so glad to have seen you here in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. See you on Sunday. Amen. God bless.